Do you know how to identify the graph of a square root function? Let's take a look at one. Here's the graph of a square root function. Now the first thing you'll notice is that this graph is a curve and not a straight line. The graphs of square root functions are curves. The second thing you'll notice is that it is positive. That's because you can't take the square root of a negative number. You can only take the square root of a positive number. It begins at a spot and it continues. The beginning spot is called the origin. Here's that graph again. Now this graph has a function that goes with it. And this is actually the graph of the parent function for square root functions. We can say that the function of x is equal to the square root of x. And that is represented by this graph. Square root functions can be written in many different ways. We could have one that looks like this. The function of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3. Or we might have one that says the function of x is equal to the square root of x minus 3. Or we could have one that says the function of x is equal to the square root of x plus 2 minus 3. All of, these gra all of these functions are square root functions, and they will all lead to a graph that is curved. However, in order to know the curve of the graph, we can determine the origin of the curve. And there's a certain form of a square root function that helps us to do that. Let's take a look at how to determine the origin of a square root function. To determine the origin, we can first look at the form of a square root function. We can have the form of the function. The function of x is equal to the square root of x minus h plus k. And whatever values we have for h and k give us the coordinates for the origin. So let's look at the parent function once again. We have the function of x is equal to the square root of x. Now, in this case, you can see that there is no term here and there is no k. We could put zeros in there. And so the origin is at 0, 0. Let's look at the graph for this function once again. Here it is again. Now you can see that this is true. The origin of this graph is right here. It's at 0, 0 just like we could determine the origin by looking at the equation. Let's look at another equation, another function, and let's determine the origin of the square root function. The function of x is equal to the square root of x plus 3. Now, here we have a value for k. We don't have a value, however, for h. So we can say that we put 0 in for h and 3 in for k and that the origin of the square root function is at 0, 3. What about this one? The function of x is equal to the square root of x minus 2 plus 4. Ah, now we have a value for h and we have a value for k. So we put 2 in for h and 4 in for k. And our origin is at 2, 4. By using this form of the square root function, we can easily determine the origin for our graph.